Right, what's up everyone? Pure Chaos X back with part three of the Desert Wolf restoration thing. Um, at the time of this recording, I haven't even uploaded part two yet, so I need to get on and do that. Um, but yeah, part two will have been uh, all the parts that I got for this, and they are now on the car, on the chassis. Everything has been replaced, including the new spoiler mount there, a bunch of new screws. Uh, I can't actually even remember what else. <laughs> There's most of the stuff inside. Uh, new chassis braces and yeah, basically just things like that. Um, and I took the whole thing apart, gave it a clean. I even made a little wire cover just there. And of course, there is an overhead aircraft. Great. Uh, so yeah, um, most of it is all good. Uh, I took the diffs apart and cleaned them up and uh, did things to those now they're nice and smooth and as smooth as you can get and obviously every single bearing has been replaced except the two in the drive shaft cups just here but they seem to spin quite well so I didn't bother with those um, I did have to buy some e-clips for each of the diffs uh, these things which you can't really see so I had to buy some of them. Uh, they're 25 millimeter, so I bought some of those. Uh, for some reason, they don't fit. Um, the ones for this are called the E 2.5 millimeter. I don't know what the E means. So I bought some 2.5 millimeter ones, but these are too small. They don't fit, so I basically just had to bend them with some pliers, push them on, and then bend them again. Hopefully, they don't come off in the diff <laughs> when it's moving. Um, if they, yeah, I don't know. I might just have to get some proper E 2.5 millimeter ones at some point. So, uh, but yeah. And oh god, damn it! Um, hang on, two seconds. Yes, um, I, I've screwed the center diff cover on. So I'll use my lovely Traxxas thing. I could actually just stick these into my electric drill and just unscrew it with that, but I'm not gonna. So yes, uh, in part three, uh, I shall need these. <clears throat> sorry, part two. Sorry, uh, I mentioned that those are too big. Uh, the, yeah, I couldn't find a center diff, and the only one I could find was this FTX one, and the FTX diff does fit in the chassis pretty nicely, and. However, I did notice a problem, which I didn't even think of when I got the uh, diff. But it wasn't until I kind of looked at it more that I realized that something might not fit. And I basically, so as you can see, it does fit. It does fit in there. Nice and smooth-ish. I'm beginning to think I should have got some, like, not the rubber sealed uh, ball bearings, because yeah, there's a lot more resistance on the uh, rubber sealed ones. But hey ho! <clears throat> um, but yeah, something that I didn't actually think about is that the drive shaft does not fit in the drive cups. So there's that problem. Um, I did a quick test and I found out that the Maverick drive cups from the front and rear diffs do fit. In this diff. So I purchased some Maverick drive cups or out drives as they're called which I will then put <coughs> into the FT into the FTX diff hopefully <laughs> and then hopefully this drive shaft at least can fit in there and in there and I just need to get the front drive shaft. As soon as I know this fits uh, I found a few drive shafts that should fit on eBay, so I'll get one of them. And once that's done, theoretically it's now a rolling chassis and should just need electronics. I do need to put oil in the shocks, I do need to paint the new body that I got. I haven't quite decided on a cover yet, a uh, colour. Uh, I was thinking of maybe trying to get some turnbuckles for the camber and the steering. Still thinking about that. Uh, so yeah, um, 
So it all boils down to these fitting in that, which I know they do, but then I need to make sure that this fits in there to there. I can't see why it shouldn't, but we'll find out. So I do actually need to do that. Uh, once I've done that, I'll come back and say, hey, look, it fits. So if anyone has one of these, the FTX uh, center diffs do fit, and I believe they do fit with these. <clears throat> so you'd have to get some Maverick drive cups in order to use the drive shaft. Just, just as a warning. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get on and do that, and I'll come back once the 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 cups are in the FTX dip. So uh, this will be a couple of minutes for me and a couple of seconds for you. So see you in a few seconds. Okay, it's got really dark in here, and I don't have very good lighting. And this took a lot freaking longer than it should do. First, I forgot to put the bearings, uh, the, yeah, the bearings on, because uh, they have to go on before you put the clips on for the drive cups. So I forgot to do that. Uh, then I couldn't get the screw holes to line up for some strange reason, and I noticed that two of them are stripped. So even better. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this just kind of went from bad to worse. This thing. So. <clears throat> But if it fits, that's the main thing. So, which it does, although there is a, ooh, yeah, there's actually a lot of movement there. I wonder if there's something I can get, I can put in there, like a piece of rubber. Because yeah, that, that is actually sticking out quite a bit there. <clears throat> so I'm have to try and find a way to keep that in there. But other than that, it does work. So, <laughs> oh, there. You know what? There we go. That's 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 the start. I suppose. <laughs> Screw these back on. It is rubbing against something in there that might wear down, though. So. Well, okay, so now that I know that works, I can get the front centre drive shaft and fit that in and try and find something that I can put in this drive cup to push this this way a bit. Uh, I don't think I've really got anything that's really big enough. I don't know, I'll have to have a look. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, there we go. Uh, that was just a quick part three, just to let people know that if you do have one of these, these FTX Zorro diffs do fit, but you will have to get your own Maverick drive cups to put in there. Um, but they do fit, it would seem. Um, it's kind of a bit buggered out that the diff, the uh, two of the screw threads are stripped. Not really sure I can do much about that. I don't know if thread lock works on plastic on metal plastic because in it isn't it for like metal into metal not metal into plastic so meh. either that or I might be able to find some screws with some slightly thicker thread I'll have to have a look um, but yeah uh, there we go so <laughs> that was the only problem thus far was that diff and the drive cups not fitting but now they do so excellent um, I can get the front center drive shaft and theoretically it's ready for electronics um, but that will be a while, because it's going to be expensive. Uh, I've toted up the electronics for this from Model Sport, and it's going to be in the range of about 230 quid. The biggest one, obviously, being the brushless system. And then, then the battery, a chunky servo, and that kind of stuff. Um, not to mention the fact that I do have, and I do know this, that I've got a few Tamiyas for Christmas. Uh, one of these is mine, and one's my father's. I've got the Evo on the TTO2. Uh, but I've also got a Ford Focus on the TTO2, and my father's got the TC01. So, uh, what that's going to involve is that I'm usually the one that ends up buying both of our electronics and paint. So I've got a fair amount to spend for Christmas <laughs> on my own stuff as well as my father's. So, yeah, I have no idea how long it's going to take for me to get the electronics for this. Um, as I said, if anyone watching this and you want to help see this Maverick get back on the road, PayPal link in the description and it will be spent on this not those it will be spent on this uh, or at least saved 
Um, if somebody was to donate enough at some point, where I can actually get even just one thing for this, I would. But if obviously, if it's a small donation, what's that? Okay. Uh, if it's a small donation, uh, then obviously it'll get saved. Service at PayPal. What have I just bought? For, what have I? Wait. What have I just bought? What's What's PayPal doing? Take my phone. Oh, okay. Just an email. <clears throat> so yeah. Um. Yeah. Any donations uh, will be sent. Paid. For, Oh, any donations will be used to get this up and running. Um, other than the electronics, there's a few like little accessory parts I want to get, like some new wheels. Thankfully, not too expensive. As you can see, this one does have odd wheels, so odd tires as well. Uh, so I want to get some of those. Um, obviously, the paint for the new body, and there's a few other things as well. But I can't actually remember what they were. Hmm. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so there's a few extra parts I want to get for it as well, like the tires and wheels. Um, but electronics, technically speaking, will be next. No idea how long it's going to take because I, yeah, I've got some expensive Christmas purchasing to do um, for my Tamiya's that I've got for Christmas. Uh, so yeah, so any help would be greatly appreciated. Why is it I can never get these things in shop? So it never looks right. I'm looking at my PC monitor as the viewfinder. But what, for some strange reason, it's, you can't quite make it out. So yeah, there we go. I'm actually going to go and look for something that I can put in the diff to stop this from having so much movement. Uh, but And wash my hands, because the grease in that diff got everywhere. So I might look for some slightly thicker screws with coarser thread. So yeah, uh, anyway. Uh, thank you for watching, that was part three. Uh, part four will be a while, and like I say, it should be the electronics for this. So, yeah, I'll get uploading part two, edit this one, and upload this, and we'll go from there. So, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully we'll be getting this thing on the road at some point. No idea how I'm going to take any footage of it, because I don't really have any way of holding my phone while I use the controller. So, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching, and see you all in part four, whenever that may be. So, I'll see you then. Bye!